I'm Alan from Presidium. In this third video about running decision trees using IBM SPSS statistics, we're going to examine how to extract the key findings from a decision tree to enhance your understanding or to develop scoring processes in operational systems. This will allow you to say, extract the top five rules, customer types or behaviours that you can concentrate on. I hope you enjoy the video and as always, look out at the end for social media information and links to other videos similar to this one. Thank you. Oftentimes, when running a decision tree analysis, there are a small subset of branches within the decision tree which give us the best return in terms of identifying target customers. Following on from our previous videos, we can illustrate ways to identify these branches, termed as rules, using the telco.sav data. This data set is available within the samples folder of your SPSS installation. The data contains various pieces of information for customers and we are using it here to identify what pieces of information are most strongly related with a customer's decision to switch providers. Let us run a decision tree. When we talk about identifying target customers, we need to be clear about which customers these are. In this example, it's going to be those customers who have switched providers in the last month, rather than say, those customers who will remain as customers. Once we have specified this, we can examine which rules are the best at identifying those customers who are likely to switch providers, and again, using all the information that is available within the data. In this example, let's see what those rules are and say, for example, take the top five rules. These rules can be exported to a file. They can be exported as SQL commands, as SPSS syntax commands, or they can just be reviewed in the output as necessary. As per usual, we will receive a decision tree, a visual descriptive analysis, identifying which pieces of information are the most important at determining whether a customer is likely to switch providers or not. We are also presented with the top five rules. This example says, if we have a valid value for the months with service, remembering that the CHE decision tree algorithm treats missing data very carefully, and it is less than or equal to six months, then we will predict that this customer will switch providers with a probability of 63%. Similar rules are presented for those who have a month with service between six and 13 and have internet services, or those who have months with service between 13 and 26 and have equipment rental and different probabilities are associated with each. Above, we have a gains table, and this table in the output allows us to examine in more detail the benefit of using the top five rules listed here. In this example, the top five rules account for more or less 40% of the data, but they allow us to identify more or less 70% of those who are likely to switch providers. This means we have a short list which identifies most of the customers who will switch and we can use the rules presented below to create that short list going forward. Thank you for watching this video. You can find more information, videos and other resources on our website. You can also subscribe to our newsletter and YouTube channel and follow us on social media so you'll never miss a thing.